Hey, what's going on? This is Coach Marcus Pro Fan Talk. Uh, just a little reminder this week, uh, my schedule is going to be a little bit off. Got some things going on, got some construction going on around the house that's going to take my attention and it is going to disrupt my little studio office back here. So I'm probably going to have some quick snippets and some live things. I will most likely be doing some content on my phone later on this week, but you'll still get the notifications. I appreciate you guys uh, tuning in, clicking that like and subscribe, and you know how we do it. But I had to hit this subject real quick. Um, Paul Pierce, bruh, like what, what the hell, man? WTF. <laughs> um, on live TV, really? You get so comfortable in your conversation that you forget where you are and your surroundings. Uh, un unacceptable, bro. I, I hope he don't need that check because he ain't going to be getting it for long. That was to me, that was just straight up uh, embarrassing. If you are, <laughs> if, you, if you look up embarrassing in the dictionary, it's got out of a picture of Paul Pierce now. I mean, it, it, uncalled for. I, I'm trying to think of other uh, adjectives to, to describe that situation. And it's just like, when you, when you come to the point, because everybody and their mama's got a podcast now. And some of those podcasts are very uh, frank, down to earth, in your own home type vibes. You, you say things on your podcast because they are for your audience. And it's, that's how you talk in your house. So be it. If people are watching you and they don't like how you talk in your house, they will go to somebody else's house or they will leave yours. So it's that simple. But when you are on national TV, Fox, ESPN, ABC, Disney, all of that kind of stuff. And, and that's what you come with man. you lose yourself. You get so comfortable in your conversation that you just throw that out there in front of Skip Bayless and, and, and Keyshawn. <laughs> I, I couldn't believe it, man. I couldn't believe it. I said that to my wife and it was about a minute and a half. And then I heard this audible scream like, oh my God. And I'm like, yep, she heard it. And it, it just, come on, man. You got to be better than that, bro. I ain't saying we better because I know I've made mistakes on the air, but I'm not going there like that, man. You you got to understand the situation that you're in. And if you are on that level, being on a network show, regardless of, I mean, cable, um, terrestrial, whatever the situation is, man, there are certain expectations that people have of you. And bro, you just shattered all of them and not in a good way. So uh, good luck to him. I'd be surprised if he's there much longer. <laughs> it is what it is, man. Uh, but I'm going to get up out of here. Stay tuned because I'm going to have more information coming this week. Uh, like I said, schedule is going to be messed up a little bit because my uh, situation is in flux. But it'll just be for this week. Next week, I'll be back on as scheduled. All right. I'll let y'all at the next one, man. Peace.